welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I decided to do the mixing all of my foundations. And to be honest, I was not expecting like the outcome. I've watched several videos and obviously I don't have as much as foundations as some of other YouTubers that they have like 45 or something. I only have 18 foundations, but they range from different formulas and different shades. So I was really, really excited to film this. So before we get started, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all my social media and let's get started. Started. I have this little um, cup that I'm going to be I'm uh, mixing all of my foundations and I don't have like a bajillion foundations like other youtubers have like 35 I counted and I have 19 here um, If I'm not mistaken, uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna be combining all of my foundations. Obviously, they're not the same shades um, Pretty sure they're not gonna come like they're not gonna Match my body because they go from like my lighter shades that I use like dur during the winter and then to my a little bit more tanner side uh, when I use them during the summers. And then to blend on my foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal sponge. Um, I've been on the lookout for the Flower Beauty sponge, but I can't find it anywhere. And I think I'm going to have to order it online because I really, really want to try it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this one for uh, blending. So, I'm excited. I'm going to first prep my skin. And I'm going to be using my um, e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer because I've been feeling a little bit on the dry side. Um, the other video I really want to do, and I'm probably going to be filming um, next week, is going to be the following so-and-so's like makeup tutorial. I'm excited, but I'm really nervous because, you know, there are other YouTubers that are like freaking amazing. <laughs> I have this little like bucket of foundation, and I'm just going to be like showing you what I'm using and then just putting it in a little cup, and then I'm going to mix it all together. So I'm probably going to use just like... If I can have a pump of each foundation, obviously there's going to be a waste of foundation, but it's all for YouTube, right? The first foundation is the Milani uh, Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And I don't have a pump, so I'm just going to try to see if some, like, a little bit comes out. Okay, like, I'm waiting and waiting and not, nothing's coming out. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. Next, I have the L'Oreal True Match Healthy Luminous Makeup. This I haven't used this in a long time. Oh, it's like super liquidy. Okay. I did like two pumps of that one because not a lot came out with that one. Uh, next, I have the LA Girl Pro Coverage AD found HD Foundation. And then the next one is the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. The next one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Foundation. Again, this one I haven't used in forever. The, that color does not match me at all. Uh, next one is the Maybelline um, Up to 24 Hour Foundation Matte. And that one I bought it recently and I've been loving it. Um, next one is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. Oh my god, this this one like I'm hoping I have a really light shade because <sighs> those colors. <laughs> I have the L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Makeup Foundation. This is an old time favorite. Next, I have the Mac Match Master Foundation. And I'm sorry, they're all like really gross. <laughs> like the pumps and they're dirty. Um, I get um. <clears throat> Next, I have the MAC Mineralized Moisture, uh, Moisture SPF Foundation. And I this one I bought a long time ago, and I really liked it. Uh, but when my fa when I started getting more like oily on the oily side, um, it didn't work for me anymore. Um, next, I have the L'Oreal um, Infallible Foundation. An all-time favorite. The Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. The Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. Uh, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. Well, that's like thick. 
Um, Makeup Forever HD Foundation, one of my favorite foundations ever. The CoverGirl um, Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. So this is different from the one before. Um, this one was the first one. or This is, I think, the matte foundation. And then the red, the one with the red pump is more on the like luminous side. Um, this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. And it does have like the duffel applicator. So I'm just going to take a little bit from that. And the last foundation I have here is the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable uh, Foundation. And those are all the foundations. I'm just going to make a little mix here. Um, and see, yeah, definitely that color is not going to match me. <laughs> so all the foundations are in here. And um, I just used one of my <laughs> blending brushes to like mix everything. So I'm going to dot this on my face and we'll see most of these foundations are really like high coverage so I am expecting you know full coverage wow like the color matches me really good <laughs> that's crazy okay there's like a chunk of okay it's like there's like a chunk of foundation I'm hoping this doesn't break me out because <laughs> I don't want that to happen okay I am really liking the coverage. It's like full, full coverage. Wow. This actually looks really good. Like really, really good. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't like um, go a little bit more dark whenever it starts, like when it starts drying. So far, so good. Oh, I got foundation in my hair. How did that happen? How did that happen? It's starting to oxidize just a tiny, tiny bit, but I'm pretty sure that I can just correct it with my concealer. So definitely the coverage is like full coverage. I can't see any of my redness on my cheeks. Um, the color matches me, a, like, matches me, it's a good match, um, but I just feel like it is oxidizing just a tiny bit. I mean, there are, like, 20 foundations here. So, obviously, it's going to, like, oxidize, um, and the colors were, you know, different. But I really, really like how this looks. It doesn't look cakey, like, at all. So, if I can see that, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline H Rewind Concealer, and I have it in the color... Well, it's a neutralizer, so I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes. You know, this comes out. It would be amazing. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my chin. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of my Tarte um, Shape Tip. Just a tiny bit, because I mean, I need that full coverage, baby. Just underneath my eyes. I'm going to place a little bit on my jaw, just because this foundation is a little bit darker than I'm used to. I forgot to put a little bit on my nose. I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape and apply a little bit on my nose to highlight. That is such a good drugstore from, um, concealer. And then I'm going to do a little bit of um, cream contouring. And I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Contour Makeup Stick. And this is in the color Oaks on You. And I'm going to take that same... L'Oreal sponge to blend it. Everything's blending like perfect on top of this foundation. 
like really really nice I'm just gonna set my under eye and I'm gonna take my favorite the RCMA no color powder and I'm going to um, just make sure I don't have any creases on my eyes under my eyes before I set And then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that same powder and set my forehead and just the rest of my face. Um, I don't want to add any other coverage, so I'm not using like my MAC um, powder. But I do have to set my face because I have oily skin. This, it's like amazing. And... I didn't think I was going to like it this much, but it's so pretty. It looks so natural. Okay, so I'm going to go and finish my face, and I'll show you back. So I definitely did not expect my face to look this flawless from mixing 20 foundations. Uh, but to be honest, like, it did not, like, it's not emphasizing any of my pores. It didn't go into any of my, like, fine lines, like my smile lines or um, around my eyes. Everything went on like perfect. Everything went on super smooth. And overall, I'm just like super impressed with the outcome of this little experiment. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.